I have a few little superstitions. Um, always put my left boot on before my right. And obviously, uh, good coffee with uh, my good mate Bunger Hearn is always in there somewhere. For some reason, before the game and the warm up, and everything, my eyes get a little bit dry. So, I have this rule where I've got to um, rinse my eyes out uh, with water three times before I go out in the field. So, I don't know why I do it, but uh, I feel like if I don't do it, I'll have a bad game. I'm usually the third one to run out. When we run out, we usually have Butts, Scoey, and me. Um, don't know why. I've just always, I suppose, like to beat the back. Okay, my only superstition is something that kind of contradicts itself in that if I think something is affecting my game or my preparation, I'll purposely do the opposite, which in a way contradicts itself, as I said before, because by doing the opposite, I'm in fact not doing the opposite, so. Now before a game, I um, like to dip my playing socks in vinegar. I feel it really gives me an edge over the competition. Um, been doing it since I was three, and never failed. And also, I, um, right before the game, I have to hacky sack my mouth guard 20 times before I can go out. Before a game, uh, not before, me and my housemate Teddy, uh, we like to get onto the couch and um, play a bit of Tiger Woods. And then once we get out, uh, Glassy, Skipper, usually tap, says, well done to everyone coming out and all that stuff. And by the time he gets to the back, I have to slap him twice on the back of my left hand for some reason. I don't know why, but I just, I have been doing it since I've started. And it's always awkward when he's not there because I don't know who to slap on the back, but. Back at Claremont, I used to rock, paper, scissors uh, to see who'd run out last. I used to always lose, I was no good at it, so I gave up. Uh, I used to have a superstition uh, where I used to run out last, but uh, a few of the boys had the same superstition, so it didn't really work that well, so I had to drop it. Touching the banner, I never wanted to touch the banner, I used to run around it, but um, one fine day in Subiaco, it was a little bit windy and a little bit floated up and just started twirling around, and unfortunately, I, as much as I tried to duck and weave, it hit me on the shoulder. <laughs> and uh, I don't think it changed the way I play at all, so uh, I scrapped that superstition. When I do get to the ground, I'll put my energy drink in the fridge, and uh, all the boys seem to put it in there, so they're like, oh, you know, here he goes again. So. <laughs> but um, yeah, before, uh, before we run out in the ground, I'd run in and grab my energy drink and take me two drinks to scull it, and the can's probably about that big, so yeah, all the boys just kind of get over it. But um, yeah, I've made a routine of it, and it's actually worked. Pretty boring one, but um, yeah, I'd just don't touch the banner before the game, so got to try and sneak under it every now and then. Pretty good at the cheer squad here. They normally hold it, hold a spot for us because there's a couple of us that don't touch it. So, yeah, that's about it. And they don't touch the banner either. So, just a couple of little things. <laughs>